Hi, Ma Chen. Hi, hello. This is Ma Chen, everybody. Uh, Ma Chen, uh, your surname? Vitronjek. Vitronjek. It's a bit Great. of a tricky, um, tricky um, surname. We tried to record this yesterday in the market square and we had no sound, so we'll do this again. Um, anyway, it's very nice to be here. We're in the University of Physiotherapy in Poznan in Poland, where Ma Chin is a senior lecturer. Senior? Senior. Yeah. You've got the grey hair. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a professor. You're a professor? PhD. Just a PhD. Uh, just a PhD. Great. Okay. Ma Chin, we met when you first came on a, a dissection up in yes, Scotland. Sir. And um, so my interest is just to find out um, why people come, what, what they learn from it, and how, how does it inform what they then either teach or treat or what, what how does it change what's the influence of that of okay that so my, my beginning was uh, with being hungry of knowledge anatomy knowledge mm. uh, I'm interested in soft tissue therapy deep tissue massage and first I saw Gil's video mm. and it was like whoa yeah it changes a lot it, it changes it changed my thinking and I said I had to be on that workshop mm. uh, I expected to be uh, to get the knowledge, anatomical knowledge during the workshop, so I wanted to go to the workshop uh, to have more information about anatomy, anatomy terms, uh, about structures, and then during the workshop it was wow! It is not just clear, uh, clear learning of anatomical names of topography, but a travel around the tissues, uh, a kind of adventure. Mm. Mm. Uh, and first impression is, oh my god, there is much more structures than in anatomy textbooks. Sure. So it yeah. was like, wow, so it's more complicated than I thought. Yeah, the stuff in there that isn't even in the book. Yes, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> <laughs> that uh, no one writes about it in anatomy sure. textbooks. Okay. Like, wow. And so how, how has it maybe um, changed or changed your, your teaching maybe? Have you, you know, is it something that you've, you've changed as far as or, or adapted or, in, or improved on as far as your, your teaching is concerned? My thinking is, wow, I was in the body. Mm. So I was in the body, I can now speak about the body. Yeah. Uh, so I have m m more, uh, my imagination of the body is better. Mm. So I think that I understand more, uh, I understand the relation between some tissues, mm. I'm more aware where some structures uh, lay in the body. Yeah, okay. And you used a, a really good word yesterday, it was, which was acceleration. Yeah. So. Uh, it, for me it was a huge accelerator, so yeah. I, was hung, I was hungry of knowledge, I wanted to know more and more and more, and mm. after the dissection workshop it was like, wow! Yeah. So okay. I, now I have to get the information about this structure, this structure, I have to know this, the function of this part of the body and this. So I, I understand more, I, under, I more understand anatomy textbooks, yeah. so it, it's easier to read. I think, I think if I'm interpreting you right, and I feel the same, is that when you teach having done dissection, you teach from a position of authority. It's not just a theory anymore from a book. It, there's an authority about, like you say, you've yeah, been in I there. I was there, yeah. You know what? I I've had my body. hands on this tissue, on this viscera, on this, in this heart, in this thoracic space. Yeah, yeah. so th this is the uh, feeling of being a researcher mm. at this moment. So everybody in the lab is a researcher mm. at this time. So whatever your aim is to study something in the body, you can do this during the workshop. Mm. So. This is great. So, uh, you're going to come back? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah it's, sure. It's, I'm sure. It's quite an addictive process because you realize... Because I, now I know that I <laughs> get a small amount of anatomy. Yeah. Okay, so I need more. Yeah. And probably second workshop it will be just another workshop. And yeah. then I hope there will be third, fourth. And yeah, it's, and so it's a process that you, yes. know, you, you, you think, you realize, you understand. Because now I, it, 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 I can compare it to streets. Uh, to traveling somewhere, so I know that there is a lot of streets that I want to sh to to see. Yeah, I it have is to one see of those things. Streets. You know, you do a workshop on the shoulder, for example, and that's kind of you're done then, aren't you? But but this, it's there's no end to it. It's like a rabbit hole that you. Yeah. you and follow. during dissection, we remove some tissues. Yeah. So it is like, wow, I have fasciolata, and it is removed. Wow, I so said I would like to spend more time on fasciolata. <laughs> yeah, and then there's another structure. Wow. Yeah. 
and we have to remove this and another structure and another structure so so i miss some structures i i'm i would like to see something another time and what is positive it would be on another body so it would be different anatomy of sure, different person sure. the variability yeah. so is it something that you would you sort of talk to your students about is it something that you think is is a good idea for for, for people working with hands-on stuff and uh, yes i think that it's necessary to, to it would be great if everyone could go mm. to the dissection mm. workshop. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Marching. for being here. Uh, how's the day gone? You happy with the day? It's been a yes, good day. Yes, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, yes, good. it was good. We've been doing some stuff day. with some students up in in, in, uh, in the, the university, and they're all thirsty for their knowledge and uh, and keen to learn more. So, thank you, Marcin. Surname unpronounced. Vitranjek. Thank you, Julian, <laughs> for being here. My pleasure. Thanks, yeah, sir. Thank Thanks you. Again. Okay.